Are you ready to approve a test pressing? Because in this video, we've got a test pressing to approve for the new EP by Hellripper, Black Arts and Alchemy, coming up with James. <laughs> This is the moment you've been waiting for all the yeah. shit. How long has it been since you wrote these songs and then now it's like finally coming to, you know, hearing the music on wax? Um, I start. I think I finished the first song probably early last year. Um, oh, damn. Yeah, every, everything's been ready since the summer, I think, since probably July, maybe. And those and damn yeah. Reaper Metal Records just been so slow, huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nah, yeah, just, well, obviously with everything happening, you obviously had um, releases scheduled beforehand and stuff. I mean, yeah. Well, I'm glad you kind of bring it up like that because uh, that's kind of where I want to say this too. Yes, yes, there's just been, there's just been a lot in the in the the pipe of getting this all going. And a shout out to Jan who was like, "Man, if you can't get all this stuff figured out, maybe you could have a guest on Hellcast and do it that way." It's like, well, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. James is here. Well, we're, we're I mean we're having very Hellcast like conversation. So as you can kind of see around the room, I'll give uh not well not you but the audience uh can see like different angles and stuff so i don't know if i highlighted this so much for this is probably about the fourth or fifth video that i've done like with this new setup but this is it working so i just kind of wanted to highlight that so here's me getting a guest in the meantime and this is the kind of stuff we're doing but yes we'll get the hellcast going normally but right we had a bunch of releases coming up and stuff so this is one of them and so, why don't we grab the, the whole reason why we're here and just cut to the chase. We don't want to be that YouTube uh, tutorial guy. Hey guys, how's it going? And take forever to get to the point. So, boom. Black Arts and Alchemy. This is a test pressing. How exciting. This is what always kind of amazes me that everybody gets excited, or well, not everybody, definitely not everybody. Uh, people get excited to own test pressings because it's like it's just a blank record in a blank jacket. In fact, this is one of the most elaborate ones where if you can't really see it on the camera there, it just has a sticker that says Hellripper. So I was like, wow, all right, cool. Limited edition cover. This is going to be your diamond head uh, worship right here for the white album. You just do yeah. it all white. There you go. There you go. T-shirts. Just put the sticker yeah. with this sticker. Yeah. That'll be a cheap solution. Yeah. But really cool, especially in a test pressing sense. So there you go. Reaper Metals is just pushing the bar, man. We were like, you know what? We want to make test pressings more exciting for people. Um, is they put the etching on there because it's an EP. So it's like, there you go. You can kind of see it. There. That's a nice one. So that's the art cover art. Slightly manipulated to fit a circle, which is always the problem you kind of got when you have to do that. But, uh, so it's a since it's a four song EP that I just dropped. Oh my god, that was my copy. One of five. So fuck yeah. We're giving it. We're giving it. We everything's just fucking totally honest on this channel. Um, dropping the records and everything. But so four song EP. It's like well, you could either you got you got some choices there. You know what? Well, what do you do? Do you just throw all the songs on one side, where you could have you know or on both sides, and there's kind of something to be said about the quality being maybe better in that regard because you know less music's easier to uh navigate or, or at least get the optimal sound out of it uh so it's like well when you're faced with something like that it's like well why don't we just keep it uh, like this and so that's where the idea to make it a one-sided record since we could fit it all on one side and then put something really cool in the back i don't know i think it's pretty slick so if i have it upside down or not but uh, anyway, there you go. So there's the thing about it. But this center thing will not be white like that. That's just for the test pressing. And then that'll obviously have a label printed there for the copies. So don't worry if you pre-ordered your copy. That's like, oh, my God, there's not even print on it. But anyway, why don't we give this a spin, huh? James has been like, fuck, I want to know what this band sounds like. Yeah, I haven't heard this yet. So yeah, which this could uh, be where I'm totally underwhelmed about everything. <laughs> Cancel the release. Yeah, yeah. Which uh, for anybody in the audience, this is uh, you might be getting the slightly higher pitched version because uh, I don't. We're, I'm on the fence. I don't know yet if it's been speculated that my record player might be got a faulty belt and is spinning the record slightly faster. 
And so they're a little bit higher pitched as a result, which was something that Mr. Athenar noticed on a Judas Priest record. So I'd like to think that everything's good to go. We're about to find out, though. Who would know better than James, huh? Yeah. All right. Here we go. All that silence. This is going to be the rest of the video for everybody. <laughs> We're yeah. just going to stare awkwardly at each other. The Actually, she's fucked. Yeah. There it is. Surface noise and all. All hail the goat. Black arts and alchemy. Available this week. <laughs> Since I'm going to assume everybody has heard this track from its worldwide debut from uh, Toilet of Hell that uh, threatened the uh, social media webs with its... What happened? What, what happened again? Apparently, um, from what I gather online, the, uh, the site, like, something went wrong with a plugin on like WordPress or whatever the, the hosting thing's called. And yeah, like Facebook then recognized it as like a threatening website, so you can't share, you couldn't share the page That's on great. Facebook or Instagram. Um, and then when was actually on Instagram, but Facebook yeah, it wouldn't let you. So that was that was great. And then when we, when it was fixed, like then Facebook still didn't think it was trustworthy. Yeah. And nobody was there because <laughs> it was like yes, like oh dude, toilet of hell is gonna cover the premiere. And then it's like, it's off! And then people were carrying and then boom, it's down. It's like, yeah, that it worked for a while. <laughs> there wasn't until a few hours later that I, like, I wasn't getting any reactions on my post that I made on Facebook and I checked. And I have a notification saying your post has been removed for like, uh, encouraging threatening behavior or something. Yeah. And I was like, okay, something's went wrong. Well, in the article, they said, uh, you were preaching to the choir. Uh, at that, everybody's gonna be hailing the goat regardless. So, is that kind of like when you're writing lyrics and stuff to this stuff? Are you really trying to write anything different, or just kind of, you know, appease that metal mode and, you know, take a uh, JC and stuff? That depends. Sometimes it's fun just to write uh, nonsense, like just fun. Yeah. Fun nonsense that's like, I don't know, kind of matches the music. Like I think this is a good, a funny song. Like it's energetic. You don't really want a serious lyrical uh, theme, really. But some of some songs I think do call for like more more serious, if you could call it that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Lyrics, like, yeah. I can definitely hear it's higher on your <laughs> through the video. Like a ton or or slightly off, like because it does sound slightly. I think it might be like a semitone or something, like just slightly. Yeah. But other than that, it sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the pressing. This is the the record player that's doing this. No, seriously. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want anybody. I'm glad they. I'm glad they played that re chest press. I would have ordered that vinyl and been fucked. <laughs> Maybe they like it like that. Maybe they want it faster and higher. Yeah. Then that then that'll be a that'll be a problem. People yeah. Disappointed with vinyl when they're like, oh, it's, it's all slower. And <laughs> yeah, well, that, well, that is something to be fun that, yeah, you could like put the record on the wrong speed. But this yeah. now uh, uh, is checking for errors like this is the reason why they make test pressings. Uh, but uh, usually it, the, te the cuts will be fine. It's just more so for like the people involved in the band and stuff wanting to hear what it sounds like on the record. And yeah. honestly, I kind of don't even really. I mean, there's a purpose to them, don't get me wrong, but at the end of the day, it, it kind of just slows down the process because you got to wait for a bunch of indecisive people potentially again to listen to it a zillion times. Like, I, I don't know yeah. if I like the kick drum on it. It's like, well, you liked it for the year that it up till now. So, and there's not much we could do. Because the other thing is like when you get a fucked up test press and you got to fix it, then you got to pay to get it re-stamped anyway. So it's not like it, it offsets any costs for any problems, so. Did I lose you, James? Well, test pressings, not always the thing you got to worry about. And test footage like this that you wouldn't really notice because it's all spliced together for your listening, viewing experience. It just cut out and took a shit on us, and we have no idea why. But, <laughs> hey, welcome to it. And that's one of the reasons why we do these things, and the Hellcast isn't 
the full throttle yet. Got to get, got to get the the training hours in. Granted, I I, I get worried on situations like this. So it's like, well, what I fuck training what to not know what the hell happened. Anyway, let's get back to some tunes. This is a uh, decrepit Christ. Yeah, second song now. Now, why would Christ be decrepit? What what what, what kind of message is this? This is very unsensitive. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think you can kind of get the idea if you read the lyrics. It's, it's not really subtle. It's quite. <laughs> quite open about what it's about well uh it it's been a moment is it are you hell are you kind of taking my are, are you kind of taking the, the crucified mortals namesake in a sense that it's like you know well christ ain't no fucking immortal he, he's he's hanging on that fucking cross rotten yeah i guess yeah basically i can't remember the lyrics exactly but it's, yeah it's basically like that just christ on the cross there uh, yeah torture whatever yeah That's basically what happened really I mean yeah it's, it's nothing it's nothing uh, that people haven't heard before I guess like I'm not treading any new ground with it but again uh, as with all here we go it's just supposed to be a fun little it's a punkier song this one I think but yeah it's just fun little lyrics or yeah. that kind of thing. Well, you've been listening to a lot of Tim McGraw lately. Are you going to be like rapping, like putting like kind of a, a, a Scottish rap, so to speak? <laughs> As... um, yeah, it's going to be the next Hellraiser album. I think it's going to be a mixture of probably uh, Venom, Tim McGraw, Hid Rock. Probably a bit of Garth Brooks in there as well, just to shake it up a bit. Original, totally original. <laughs> Our video problems just got harder. It was, now it's now they're working just fine. It's just we have no audience because everybody was like, "Well, fuck this band." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they were promising, not anymore. <laughs> Shit, I think we're getting a little bit uh, into this EP a bit. So, talking over yeah. it though, at least good. But we're almost diving into a full album. We might want to cut it close so we got some exclusive measures back. But I wanted to show the folks. Look at that. Now that is a, an awesome tape box right there. And uh, so I'm going to save going through that. But we have the tapes in hand. We don't have the vinyl other than the test pressing here in hand. And the CDs would have been here, which they will be here shortly. Um, they saw a brief delay as well. But I think we'll have everything in time for everybody that will be catching Hell Ripper on tour for the... Black Arts and Alchemy over Europe, or what did you call the tour? Black, something like that. Yeah, I think right? I just called it the Black Arts and Alchemy European Tour, Euro Tour, or something. Yeah, very yeah. creative. Simple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, decrepiting, decrepit Christ across Europe. <laughs> Got to do a Venom thing there, or the, the assaults or whatever. But uh, yeah, so oh, that, yeah, yeah. for all the folks that are in Europe that can attend that, there will be the one gig uh, in London with uh, Midnight then, and then. Well, you got a few pretty cool ones. Uh, like anybody else you're looking forward to playing with? Uh, yeah, we're playing a few shows with uh, Black Rat. I'm not sure if you're familiar with yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, those guys are cool. And we're playing a few shows with them in Germany. Uh, we're playing with Mortal Scepter. I'm not sure if you're familiar with them. Or French. I, I know them through uh, Hell or uh, Heavy Metal Relics. Um, they. Oh uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've done the. Yeah, I remember I, that they sent you the CD with the silver. Um, or was it gold? Like the metallic kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gold, gold. Fuck, I'm peeking. Uh, gold for sure. Shut the fuck up, Reaper. Um, yeah, the gold. Uh, and then they. they so, but it, but it was from, from that that I, I've heard of the band. So that's why you should send your stuff, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Those guys. Um, can't remember who else. Uh, we're playing uh, the Roadburn Tree Show, which should be really cool. Yeah. Um, and Thomas Metal Festival, which is looks like a really cool thing. That uh, looks like a really cool day. Uh, look, just looking forward to like meeting people as well, like meeting fans that we I've spoke to online and stuff. Like, when they finally get to see us because obviously I never played live for the first year and a bit, and we never really got to Europe for. We've only played two two dates in Europe, I think, in four years. So I mean, we're getting there. <laughs> yeah, I, I would say so. Well, James, I don't think we need to write anything about this test approval. It's already been approved uh, on a, 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 or a, a deck that doesn't spin it too fast. 
uh, but it's it's sounding nicely higher pitched, uh, but it's still good. So hopefully yeah. the audience is enjoying it there. But uh, yeah, so if you if you want to get yourself psyched up for Hell Ripper Live, uh, there is uh, James running through his uh, guitar covers that he does here on on the channel that, that oh, yeah. <laughs> didn't seem to be as exciting on the afterthought for people, but. If it is to you, it's linked up here on the cards, uh, and as is anything else Hell Ripper related. But best of all, the Black Arts and Alchemy EP and the pre-order that you can have with it, or shit, you're watching it at a point and it's already released. Well, you can go and jam more than the pitch shifted, higher pitched version that you got to hear us talk all over. Um, so hopefully, you enjoyed all that. Hopefully, be catching Hell Ripper. And I have nothing else left to say. What about you, James? Did the last song play? I turned it off. I oh, said okay. there was enough of this. <laughs> this is just too high bitch. This I, I was I was talking about how good it was, and it just was, yeah. I just couldn't take it anymore. No, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> no, I just figured it was closeout time. Didn't want to give everybody the, the you know you don't want to ruin the surprise. That, that yeah, shit. I got true. more to say. Fuck. I I am slightly scathed by the the amazing of te- uh, advancement of technology because it's like you know, like I liked when you would buy a CD and like when you were jamming it, you got to like kind of fall on the lyrics and like get to know the the album. Where like now it's like there's all these product photos and people making run through videos and shit. Yeah. That uh at least when I when it came to that, that's kind of why I wanted to do like this test pressing, why I wanted to do an unboxing, get you to know the other aspects of the re- the the release that you as the receipt the recipient fan don't always get to see. So let me know what you think about that approach in the in the comments. But yeah, I'll let you sign off on this one though, James. Yeah, yeah, uh, so check out the Black Arts and Alchemy EP uh, out April 5th on Reaper Metal Productions. Check out the Reaper Metal Productions Bandcamp page as well for any other releases. Uh, Grey Violator, that was the last one, was cool. Um, but yeah, the, yeah, you've had quite a few good releases uh, on the Reaper Metal. It seems like you focused kind of on uh, like the speed metal thing. Uh, um, totally uh, accidental. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, it was like the wolf blood uh, and stuff. So yeah. Like it might, it might. Uh, no, I guess it's not going to take too much of a switch here until a little bit later in the year. It's going to get a little bit black metal. Um, oh, okay, yeah, it's just kind of happening. I, I don't know. I don't really have a purpose, but or, uh, but yeah. So, but I'm glad you like that. That's cool. That like you know, you, yeah, you're not just like on a label and then don't know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, no, it was cool. I like the tank cover on that as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, the, the wolf blood. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh I, I thought that was uh, really cool too. I I, I love because I love that that early those early tank albums are fantastic. Yeah, we used to cover a tank song. We played a, f- a couple of ta- uh, we played "Turn Your Head Around" at a couple of shows. Oh, sweet. Um, yeah, yeah. We yeah. Usually we cover a couple of different songs every every so often, just for fun. Speaking of covers, we forgot to mention that. So if you're oh, not yeah. so if you're not impressed by this <laughs> higher higher pitched uh, LP, that won't be the case for everybody's. Could really underline that. Um, and you and CD is your forte, or you're just a completist. Well, the CD should entice you because the CD has an exclusive bonus track. Should we say who? What? I'll let you. Yeah, I think most people know anyway. Oh, it's on the Bandcamp page as well. <laughs> the 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 cover is yeah you've wrote it on the the merch thing like it says the cd contains oh the, the, the running, running wild the cover. running wild cover <laughs> i'm just being an ass i'm trying to make it sound like it's something bigger deal than it probably really is but oh, okay <laughs> Dude, it's hard when, when your head's everywhere cameras are failing and sex <laughs> pressings are fucking wrong speed like that, that's a tiny a, 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 a dive into the <sighs> mind fuck that you got to deal with so yeah so yeah and, and you're you're in the same boat as you're about to embark on your tour too but that's a that's a tour that's a conversation for another time so yeah. I, I i so if you like the so if you like this content nonetheless though yeah if you like this content let us know grab the cp all this is made available to you and we'll talk to you next time